We're surprised. Uh, we are concerned for sure. Over 30 years ago, crowds of people stood here watching athletes speed through this bobsleigh track during the 1988 Winter Olympic Games. Now it sits empty. That could be the future of this track, as Wind Sports says a lack of funding could force it to shut it down for good. The track it is, is now, we can't operate it next year. So uh, roughly the renovation was going to take about six, seven months. So we'd like to get something figured out soon. The cost of renovations was pegged at about 25 million. And although the federal and provincial government chipped in 17 million, Oviat says they cannot cover the $8 million shortfall. The end of the Calgary 2026 Olympic bid meant money that would have been earmarked towards upgrading this facility uh, stopped. The repercussions will be uh, big. Um, you know, without the track uh, starting up in, in October as usual, uh, you know, we'll have to rethink about where our athletes start sliding in the beginning of the season. Libyan adds this would also have a big impact on the economy because a lot of athletes relocate here to train, end up getting a job, and then staying in the city. Bobsleigh's head office would also have to move, most likely to Whistler. This Olympic gold medalist says shutting down the track will have an impact for generations to come as young athletes won't have the opportunity to enter sliding sports. Having moved to Calgary, uh, you know, 16 years ago to train for bobsleigh, to, to participate and having to go and win my, you know, win my Olympic medal and, and finish my dreams, to have that not be an option for, for people in the community now, is, it's disappointing to see. Messer says this could be a preview of the future. Unfortunately, we may see more of those decisions. There's more aging infrastructure here in the city that athletes rely on, that the community relies on, that we're just going to have a hard time. We're going to have to make some tough decisions on where we're going to prioritize those dollars. If nothing is done, the tracks will close on March 3rd. In Calgary, Kendra Fowler, City News.